Maybe it's everywhere. Maybe there's nowhere to go. What the fuck? Grab something! Alright, keep going, keep going. Shit! Oh. Tell me I can't stop you. I can't drive through them. Are you serious? Just keep going! Right. This scene you have just watched is from the popular game and TV series, The Last of Us, and it depicts a world fading into an apocalypse. But how did they get there? In modern America, it takes zero effort to look around and observe how much division there is in politics and beliefs. It's evident that America is the victim of great division. The idea of an apocalypse has been a present topic in many literary works, but the best way to show this to the younger generation, my generation, is through a video game and TV show. It helps highlight how people would react in such a situation. Now, as we delve into The Last of Us, it's important to see how the collapse of society doesn't just affect the physical world around them, but also the disappearance of civility and humanity. The Last of Us, released in 2013, it was honored with 240 Game of the Year awards. It shows an apocalyptic world that's been overrun with the fungal virus. A decade later, it would transform into a TV adaptation, racking in 30 to 40 million viewers per episode. That's a whopping 10% of the whole American population. But it wasn't just a game, or a show that depicted the end of the world. It shows us the true vulnerabilities of modern American society and how quickly it can be destroyed. Having the PlayStation game transformed into a TV show made me curious to the idea. How would Americans act when faced with the apocalypse? And how would they act towards each other? This video will first explain why The Last of Us is interesting to me. Next, I will talk about what modern society is and the basic structure that supports it. Third, I will use examples from The Last of Us and other famous literary works to shed light on the many possible weaknesses that contribute to the fragility of society we have come accustomed to. Lastly, I will discuss ways in which we can avoid these catastrophic futures and preserve our way of life we have fought so hard to control and maintain. Once on the big screen, it became much more interesting to see how the government within the story deteriorates, and the facade of trust and hope slowly fades away as rebellions form and faith in each other becomes rare. Modern society's foundations rest on a balance of shared values, morals, and collective humanity. The television adaptation gives a more holistic view of the breakdown of society and how the once peaceful and friendly interactions between people are warped into a primal will to survive, to kill, or be killed. Modern society is the world around us. It is a shared belief system rooted in Judeo-Christian traditions. Law and order provide justice and fairness. People take care of each other because we have shared values of morality and decency. Society grows from a common history and experience, like American democracy, personal freedom, and the American dream, which our ancestors all fought for. At its core, it shows us that if you contribute to the common good, all of your needs will be taken care of. Abraham Maslow, creator of Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs, puts into perspective what humanity truly needs to properly function. I'm now going to invite my good friend Jean, who will talk about Maslow's Pyramid. Bonjour, JP. 
You see, it has so many layers, just like a flaky croissant. Mm. The most basic level of the pyramid is physiological needs. In other words, humans don't really care about anything else if there isn't enough food, water, shelter, etc. The next layer focuses on safety and security in safety needs. Once all these physical needs are met, only then can mankind grow into what we call society to be today, focusing on love for one another, education, respect, community, and morality. It is a complex system that requires consistent focus on managing and preserving societal design. And love, of course. Amor! <laughs> Sadly, it seems too many of us don't even know how difficult it was to build and take it for granted. So this begs the question, just how fragile is American society? Thank you, Jean, and I love the accent. The Last of Us, created by the developers at Naughty Dog, shows a glimpse into a potential future where society collapses due to a simple food safety emergency. The game, in vivid detail, portrays a world in which cities and buildings have been lost, but it also focuses on humanity's collapse through loss of morals, connection, and community. Let me paint the picture for you. A fungus has infiltrated the world's flower supply and is infecting people via common foods like bread and cereal. Once the infection begins spreading person to person, it quickly goes exponential and creates complete societal panic. The government reacts by quarantining the major cities and quickly turning on its own population. Joel, the protagonist, watches helplessly as a soldier kills his daughter and nearly kills him as well. In that moment, the world he has always known ends. His family is torn apart, his faith in his own government and other people ends as well. Joel must immediately adapt in survival mode and find a way to make a life in this suddenly dystopian reality. Other works, such as Ray Bradbury's There Will Come Soft Rains and Fahrenheit 451, show how nuclear war could bring an end to mankind. In Stephen King's The Stand, it's a global pandemic that nearly wipes out all human life on the planet. In modern America, political factions, resistance to the church, and the disappearance of morals are all possible causes to weaken and potentially destroy our culture and civility. Fortunately, None of these scenarios have yet occurred in our country, allowing us a chance to find ways to prevent catastrophe. What The Last of Us and other mentioned literary works offer us is a free glimpse into a world we must do everything we can to avoid. It comes down to mankind ultimately surviving through civility, humanity, and community. By analyzing these stories, we can work backward to identify the root causes as societal failure. The Last of Us underscores the importance of food safety and problems posed by genetically modified crops. Other works highlight how war, health crisis, mass disinformation, technology, and distrust of government can lead to major damage and even the destruction of civilization. Society in the face of catastrophe loses its morals, and people become self-centered, only concerned with their will to survive, rather than trying to rebuild their former, stable world. By addressing problems while they're still small and manageable, we stand a chance to maintain our shared values and humanity. No matter the circumstance and as hard as it may be, we must communicate and care for one another in order to survive. Perhaps the first key point to all of these scenarios is that imagining a terrible future is the first step in preventing it. We still have time.